Hi, in this video I will introduce the atomic model, subatomic particles and some of the notation that is used when describing atoms. This diagram shows the Rutherford model of the atom. While it's not literally accurate and it's definitely not to scale, it does allow us to see the three subatomic particles found in an atom. In the centre of the atom is the nucleus containing protons and neutrons. Protons and neutrons have a very similar mass of 1.67 times 10 to the power of minus 27 kilograms. We say that they both have a relative atomic mass of 1. Protons have a positive charge of 1.60 times 10 to the power of minus 19 coulombs. So we say that it has a relative charge of plus 1 while a neutron has a charge of zero. Orbiting the nucleus are the electrons which are much smaller. Their mass is around 2000 times smaller than that of a proton or neutron. Around 9.1 times 10 to the power of minus 31 kilograms. It's so small that we say they have a relative atomic mass of zero. They are negatively charged and the magnitude of this charge is equal to the charge on a proton, that is 1.60 times 10 to the minus 19. So we say it has a relative charge of minus 1. By dividing the charge of a proton or an electron by its mass, we can determine a quantity called its specific charge. The unit for specific charge will be coulombs per kilogram. The proton number, also known as the atomic number, is the number of protons in a nucleus and is given the symbol Z. The nucleon number, also known as the atomic mass or the atomic weight, is the total number of protons and neutrons in a nucleus. It is given the symbol A. These proton and nucleon numbers are presented together in the AZX notation. For example, helium with a nucleon number of 4 and a proton number of 2 would be written like this, where the X is replaced by helium symbol HE, or oxygen, as like so. The number of protons in an atom dictates which element it is. For example, a carbon atom will always have six protons, and a hydrogen atom will always have one proton. The number of neutrons, and therefore the nucleon number, can vary between atoms of the same element. Different versions of an element with different numbers of neutrons are known as isotopes. Their chemical properties are identical, but their mass varies due to the different numbers of neutrons. For example, carbon can be found as carbon-12, carbon-13, and carbon-14. In fact, all three isotopes of carbon here can be found in your body 